Hi, everybody. Let me just get my chat on my phone so I can see what's going on here. Oops. Okay. Hi, Elizabeth, Carmen, Judy, Sandy, my boy Ryan, my girl Stacy, Barbara, Susan, Floor. Welcome, Floor. Hi, Linnea. Hi, Jennifer. Hey, Chow. We got the whole gang here. Hello, 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 my happy people. How are you? Um, Elizabeth. My darling, check these out. Hey, get them open. Hold on. Yes, happy Friday. Tomorrow, I'm just the pre-show for the real show, which will be Ryan tomorrow. Hollow stickers. All right, so I bought these and they were rather expensive. <laughs> um, but I wanted to try them out as merch. Um, so I'm going to sell them for $3. It basically covers the cost of the sticker and the shipping, okay? So I'm not making money off of this, you guys. I just, I want to be able to order some more. So they got to pay for themselves. So $3. Um, I'll send you a PayPal invoice. You can just email me at nancystamps15. I will tell you they're very limited. I did not order a big batch because I wanted to see how they do. So, um, but they're really, really cool. And I do believe they are printed. It is printed on Mylar. So it's not like a normal cheapy sticker. Now, for those of you with birthdays, I'm still going to make the birthday logos out of holographic vinyl, whatever I have um, for the birthday babies because I think those are more special. These are more special for the birthday babies. So I'm still going to make these and send these out if it's your birthday. Um, but these, if you want to purchase them, they're really big. I mean, you can see the size here. So it's the same four inch circle. But I just thought this were an easier way of getting everybody's fix without me having to do any kind of weeding. I can't get that thing off the back. So, yeah, I wanted to show those to you guys. So, Nancy Stamps 15 at Gmail. Send me an email. They're $3 each. That's going to include the shipping. And I will send you a PayPal invoice. And then I will stick them in the mail to you. But let me tell you what they look super cute on. Um, I don't know, maybe on your mink. Oh, it might be too big for the mink. Maybe too big for the mink. Well, I mean, you can do a little slicey slicey on there. <laughs> um, I would say on your stamping platform, but I know some people want to see through their stamping platform. So maybe not if you want to be able to see through there. Um, on your car in the back window, maybe. Maybe on your Tim Holtz storage tins. I don't know. I mean, you think about where you want it. I don't know. Oh, I got them done today, Ryan. Thank you, sweetheart. All right. Okay, so yeah, I don't have a whole bunch of those, but it's nancystamps15 at Gmail. I can't find my little, uh, my little email thingy that I normally hold up. My little pink paper. It's in here somewhere. Anyway... I'm taking a break from watching Umbrella Academy 2 from Netflix. Told my kids I got to come down and do this live for you guys. So let's do that. Oh, someone sent me a card today and there's no name on it. <laughs> so I don't know who it's from. Um, I just want to make pretty things and sleep. And there's beautiful colored in hands holding hearts. A wonderful alcohol inked background in my favorite colors. Um... And then the card is blank inside. It's not signed on the back. There's, there's, I don't know who this came from. 
Um, and on the envelope, they didn't put their name. They only put the address. So if you are the lovely person that sent this to me, thank you. I love this moon. This is gorgeous. That's what we're going to play with tonight, Bernie. So whoever this lovely person was, please let me know so I can say thanks. Happy mail. Hello, hello, hello. Who else do we have on here? Hi, Roxanne. Hi, Gloria. On my bicycle seat, Ryan says. <laughs> yes, on your Gemini. Yeah. Yeah, Gemini. Oh. Look, it would look gorgeous on your Gemini. Maybe on your scan and cut. So many beautiful things you can put it on. All right. All right. I put one on my back of my laptop today. <laughs> okay. So we're going to play with these two Lavinia stamps. I will link everything for you at the end. I know it's this is the problem when I do impromptu lives is you guys get all excited and then you want to buy everything. If you can wait till the end, I promise I will link everything for you guys. Um, I want to thank everybody for sticking around yesterday. I did not get a chance to go on the computer and play around today, but I do want to try to get that resolved. I do want to figure out how to do YouTube Live so that Ryan can join me and um, Tracy can join me. And we can join each other and help each other out and help everybody grow. Um, you know, I learn new things. You guys learn new things, and we want to support each other. So I will figure it out. All right. So... Um, these took a really long time to get here, but I want to show you how super easy it was to put them together. Um, so I use these three of the brand new Simon Hurley ink pads I was playing with yesterday. Um, by the way, I know Brutus Monroe has the set sold out. Yes. Um, however, you can order them individually. Hi, Simon. You can order them individually from Brutus Monroe. I also have a um, scrapbook.com link and scrapbook.com has them in stock and actually they were 30 cents cheaper than Brutus Monroe. I love Brutus Monroe, but you can get you can get them a little bit less expensive over at scrapbook.com. So between both websites, you should be able to get all the colors that you want. Okay, so we're going to use Clear Skies, Remember Me, and Midnight Snack. And this is going to come together so fast. I did this last night after um, the video when I was talking to the admins. And, um, yeah, here we go. I actually use, this is the piece of paper I was stamping on yesterday. This is the back of it. It's just a piece of Bristol. Um, so there it is. I'm going to use the same. I don't like to waste anything, so I'm going to use the same piece. And I was really just kind of playing around with the new stamps and the new inks. And I was just like, wow, this really came together nicely. So... I'm going to cut this down. So the new slimline cards are um, eight and a half by three and a half. So I cut this down to um, three and three quarters. I'm sorry, three and a quarter by eight and a quarter. So there's a little bit of a quarter difference. So when you put it on your card, yeah, when you put it on your um, card base, It'll line up better. Let me grab my big trimmer here for the bigger one. I didn't order a new trimmer yet. I'm still trying to run my tonic trimmer to its last leg here. All right, so eight and a quarter. There we go. So eight and a quarter by three and a quarter is what size this panel is. All right, so really easy we're going to take these inks and we are just going to dab them on my non-stick mat here so i started with clear skies remember me and midnight snack these are the three blues in simon's collection okay and then I'm going to just take my little water spritzer and just spritz it. And it's just the smush method. I'm going to go in there and I'm just going to put my cardstock down, kind of smush it around. 
and then you'll see that, whoops, we're gonna get that ink transfer on there. And then I kind of flipped it over so the dark part was at the top and I redid it, but I just flipped it over so that the colors kind of um, mixed up. And I like this kind of splotchy look because that really makes it look to me like underwater, right? So I'm gonna take the heat tool to that real quick. It's really that simple. Um, Robin, I'll link that for you. The large cutting, the tonic cutter, I'll link it for you. Okay, so that's mostly dry. I still have ink on my mat, so I'm gonna go back in and just layer the ink spots right onto that. So again, it gives us that wet look. And I'm gonna use pretty, I'm gonna use all this ink up. Like there's really no ink left over. This is a piece of Bristol, by the way. This is a generic Bristol. And then I'm just gonna spray that and clean it up. So very easy to do, very pretty background. Now again, the inks that I'm using are the new Simon Hurley inks. So you can pick those up at Brutus Monroe or um, scrapbook.com. I'll link both of those for you. The stamps I'll link for you as well. Um, Craft Stash should have them. I'll double check for you guys. And then the rest of the supplies I'm using. So the Tim Holtz um, media mat, the heat tool, the paper. You can pick all that up on my Amazon store. It's amazon.com backslash shop backslash Nancy Stamps. So, um, but again, I will link everything once we're done here. So it's pretty simple, easy, done. So now I'm gonna grab my Tim Holtz mat here because this is a very, this is a very long stamp, you guys. That's why I went with the slim line. And I'm gonna put it all the way up in the corner there. I'll put my little magnets just in the corners here. Thank you, Stacy. Oh, Ryan's gonna have so much fun tomorrow. Keep an eye out if you're not a member of our Foiling Snobs Club. We are not just about foiling. We do foiling, stamping, anything creative. We do it in our little Facebook group. We don't judge. We don't say that you have to use certain products. You know, we let you do anything creative at all. So we invite everybody. It's a very supportive community. There's no drama. Bunch of wonderful, wonderful people in that group. All right. So before I heat emboss this, because that's what I'm going to do, I want to um, anti-static tool, because Nancy always forgets. And since I just dried this, I just want to make sure that there's no damp spots in my paper. Now, the one I did yesterday, I did in a rose gold. This one I did in a rose gold, which was very pretty, but it was very faint. It was hard to see. So today, I'm going to do, oh, okay, thanks, Bernie. Um, I'm going to do orange today because I think the orange will really stand out from the blue. Yeah, so let's try this out. Just using some Bursamark ink here. Now 
yesterday I had a small bald spot in the middle of my stamp. So I am going to ink this again. Take that off of there. Ow. This is Brutus Monroe embossing powder. I don't know if this is available or not. It's called Twisted Tangerine, but it's basically gold. Uh, I mean, orange with some um, glitter speckles in it. So I don't know if it's still available or not because it was part of the Brutus Monroe Limited um, Embossing Powder Club. So you'll have to forgive me if it's not available anymore. All right. Oh, okay. All right. I'm being lazy here because yesterday when there was that big bald spot, I moved my paper and I was afraid of restamping it. But looks like we're good here, so I can take all of this off. <gasps> Don't do that. Nance. Rookie mistake. Thank goodness embossing powder is super sticky. I took the brush and I wiped the whole thing off. Whoopsies. 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 Rookie mistake, Mommy. Now that's covered in a That'll come off. Don't worry about it. You guys know it's not alive unless I screw something up. <laughs> No undoing. We can clean that up. Watch. I take this and we drop it all over my lap. No, I'm just kidding. That's not funny because that that would be something I would do. Mm -hmm. I hate glitter. There we go. No wasted embossing powder. No embossing powder powder was harmed during the filming of this live. <laughs> filming of this live. Video footage. Okay, let's put that away. Let's heat this up. It's going to get a little loud in here. Okay, right. Now he is nice and glittery. I'm going to clean him off the stamp platform and switch to the other stamp real quick. Actually, I can just do that one. I'll just do that one with the stamping block. Okay, so the other one is the kelp seaweed. And this one I'm just going to stamp down over here. Stamp a little bit over here. And then finally, on the side here, kind of going up. So now that's all done. We're actually going to go in with some more Brutus Monroe embossing powder. This is where that Brutus Monroe embossing powder of the club comes in handy. And this is called Emerald City. And this has some dark green, some light green, but it has some gold in it. Uh, 
Jennifer, yes, you can emboss on almost any paper. You just have to be careful with watching your heat. Um, this is a pretty heavy cardstock, so it's not going to be a problem embossing on this. Um, Yupo paper and acetate, you have to be really careful and vellum. Um, just because of the nature of those papers, they tend to warp. So you just have to be really careful with those. All right, let me heat up our seaweed here. I am trying to um, read the comments, but we have Stacy and Chow on here, which will also help us out. Okay, that's, you could certainly stop right there and leave everything alone, but you know me, I can't. So I was like, man, we need something else to go on here. So I grabbed my little shimmer markers. If you have the Crafter's Companion pots, the shimmer pots as well, you can use those. I'm going to grab some bright green here. What's this one? Oh, that one's too dark. It's a really light green. This one? I think it was this one. And I'm just going to kind of go over my seaweed. Any empty spots that were open in the stamp, this is going to fill in. So... It's not going to be a huge difference. I even kind of like tracing under it so it gives the seaweed the shadow. And you'll see it's going to make a bigger difference when we get to the jellyfish. So it's kind of like coloring but cheating because the heat embossing is already there to follow the stamp. So we're giving it a shadow without really knowing what we're doing. Just kind of tracing. And you'll see as it dries, there's going to be a little bit of added shimmer to that. Although this embossing powder is really pretty. Because like I said, it has two different colors of green in it and it has gold in it. So it just makes that seaweed look a little more fluid. Just pops off of the page a little bit. So that's it. This was called Green Pickle, by the way. All right, now we need to color our jellyfish. What's his name? Jalhander? Jalhander? Jalander? I don't know what his name is. Something like that. Something weird. Like, we couldn't give him a, real, a normal name, like Jim. Jim the Jellyfish or something. I mean, Sebastian was a nice normal name. Okay, here we go. Jalandar. Something like that. Okay, now we're going to move on to this guy. Yesterday, I used some kind of like purples and pinks and colored him in. He looks really cool. So we'll go in with some oranges here. What's a Tim Holtz container? This, this. This is an older Tim Holtz marker container. I don't think he makes us anymore. Oh, there it is. Distress Marker Storage Tin. I found it at, um, Technique, what's that? Tuesday morning, Tuesday morning, Tuesday morning. Um, I wish I had picked up a couple more because, look, all my markers fit in there perfectly. All right, so I'm going in with this orange. It's called Harvest Moon. Oh, poor Bernie. We got to send you some prayers, hon. So I'm going to start with this lighter orange on the top. And just all I'm doing is coloring it in and bringing it down. 
And then kind of the same thing. I'm just gonna follow the little tendrils of the jellyfish. And so what this is going to do is not only is it going to add a little shadow, so this really, I think, gives it a fluid look because again, he's supposed to be an aquatic creature in the water, but it gives it glitter. And who doesn't love glitter? Now this one's a little thicker, so I fill that one in. But the tiny ones, I just follow along. And it just gives it a little bit of a shadow. Now this embossing powder is also very pretty because it has orange glitter built into it. So, I don't know, I just like glitter, you guys know that. I was going to do like Sebastian and um, this jellyfish together, but they're so different in sizes, I thought it would look weird. Did I get them all? I think I got them all. Okay, and then I go in a little bit darker orange. Okay, so this one is called Orange Flame and I'm gonna put that in the bottom and just kind of ombre them together, blend them together. These are watercolor markers. Um, they have a lot of shimmer in them. There's mica built into them. So the embossing powder, if you don't have glitter embossing powder, you can just use markers like this. Regular embossing powder will work fine. But I really thought that orange would be striking against that blue and pop. And that's, that's how simple it was. Now, if you wanted to, I didn't do it with either one of these, but you could spritz it with water as well and then do the... Um, where you, the lift, the, the lifting technique where you lift the water off. What's that? I keep forgetting what that's called. Um, that's how easy it is. But just putting that little bit of color with the marker, marker and just kind of tracing it really does make them stand out. And it really looks like I put a lot of effort into this. How long did that take me, you guys? 20 minutes? <laughs> it didn't take a long time at all. It was super easy to do. But it's a lot of color. It really pops. So here's the one we did yesterday. And that was heat embossed with rose gold, I think from the ton. Rose gold embossing powder from the ton. And I colored it in with some pink and purple markers on that one. I used the same green for the embossing on the um, seaweed. And by having him at an angle and putting the three seaweeds there, so we have a longer one here, a shorter one here, a longer one over here, it's pleasing to the eye. It's going to look fine. There's enough room. If I wanted to put a sentiment, I could, but I think I'll leave it blank and just put the sentiment on the inside. And then this one is the orange one. And you can see all of that sparkle and glitter in the orange pop off there. That's it. That's all I got for you guys today. <laughs> it's short and sweet. Yeah. And you can do the same technique with Sebastian. You guys have seen me do alcohol inks with Sebastian. You see me do um, the, the stress oxide ink pads. I, I love aquatic stamps because making that background water, it's never the same. Um, it's really pretty. 
And Noelle, if you have the pots, honey, that it's the same thing that's in the pots. You would just use a brush. Um, it's actually cheaper because you get more ink in the pots than you do in the markers. It's the exact same thing as the as the shimmer inks in the pots. So, um, yeah, very very easy to do. So tomorrow I will be posting the card exchange for the Foiling Snobs Club August card exchange. The theme is friendship. The way that it works is there will be a sign-up sheet on the FSC Facebook group. You must sign up through that sign-up sheet every single month that you want to participate. Some people are going to jump on. Some people are going to jump off. Um, uh, what I do is as you sign up, I start picking five to six people and I group you together and I email you your group, which is five to six people. So you're going to mail out four to five cards and then you will get four to five cards back. So it is friendship theme. You don't have to use foil. It's anything you have in your stash. You can decide to write in the cards or leave them blank. I like to leave mine blank so that you can reuse the card, but it's totally up to you if you want to write a little note in there. Um, so I will put a date on there. Usually the date is right around the 20th, so that way everybody gets their cards by the end of the month. So um, if you did not get any of your July card exchanges, I'm going to ask you to email me with who you did not get it from. I do like to keep track of who signs up and who doesn't participate um, because it's not fair if that person gets five or six cards and then someone gets gypped some cards. Um, if you fall into any kind of life situation where it's an emergency, you can't get your cards out in time, all I ask is that you email me and that, um, you know, if you need help from the admins, we always make a couple extra cards and we can certainly help you. We had somebody in our group last month whose husband got in a really bad car accident. Obviously, taking care of her husband is more important than her sending cards out. So we're always willing to help out. No problem at all. Okay. So, yeah, that's all I wanted to show you guys is that these are um, really easy to do using the Simon Hurley ink pads. Um, you can pick those up again at Brutus Monroe. You can pick up... Um, or um, scrapbook.com. I'll link everything for you. I'll link the Lavinia stamps. There's a couple sites I can link for you to try to get these as well. Um, the sparkle pens and the pots, they're all in my Amazon store. The Bristol paper is in the Amazon store, but you can use heavy cardstock. You can use watercolor cardstock. So before you go out and buy new stuff, I want you just to stop and take a look around at what you already have. So Noelle, I know you have a lot of stuff. Noelle, you don't need to go buy markers. You can just use your, um, you could actually make this watercolor background with your sparkle pots, stamp it out, heat emboss it, and then use your sparkle pots again to color in. As long as you don't shake up your sparkle pots, you can make this background without too much mica getting into it. So take a second, look around at what you have, and try to try to create something with what you have. Now, if you're, again, just starting out, uh, I know like Jennifer's just starting out, um, who else was on here saying she's just starting out? You can certainly check out the Amazon shop. There's a lot of information in the Amazon shop. In the Foiling Snobs Club, we have a ton of information. We always want to help everybody learn. Um, but I see a lot lately of posts going in our Facebook group, and everybody's like, well, I bought this, I bought this, I bought this. I want to see some creations with what you bought. Buying things is great. Yes, we all want to buy new things and we want to su support the economy, support our crafting community. But what I hate to see is people buy everything and then they get overwhelmed and say, I have all of this new stuff and I don't know what to do with it. So, yeah, distress inks will work. Distress oxide inks will work. Distress sprays will work. Um, the Simon Hurley inks are wonderful. Lots of bright colors in them. That's why I really want to play with them. I like that they didn't get diluted, that they didn't fade out. It looks really cool. Um, so, yeah, I want you guys to try out what you have and see what you get. Hi, Mary. Hello from New York City, neighbor. Mary, one of these days I'm going to come into the ink pad and do some kind of a foiling class, I think. Yes, feed your creativity. Yes, Ryan, speak your mind. Ryan's live is tomorrow at 5 p.m. on our Foiling Snobs Club website. You do not want to miss that. 
Join the Foiling Snobs Club at um, Facebook. Stacy listed the group up there. Remember, you have to answer all of the questions. Hi, Deborah. Um, in order to get in, and I want to see, I want to see your creations. So I think we're going to have a little contest. Noelle, you wanted to do a little contest. You want to speak up to that, Noelle? What do you want the theme to be, Noelle? Yes, I did leave white. That's so hard for me, too, you guys. <laughs> yes, our only group is to be nice. Ooh, Ryan's going to do a little unboxing video for us. Ooh, ooh. And Ryan and I are going to figure out how we can do this. Well, Noelle, tell us what you want the, the contest to be. So Noelle's putting a contest out there. This is for the Foiling Snobs Club members. So you want to join Foiling Snobs Club on Facebook. Noelle has three prizes she wants to send out to people. Um, Noelle, do you want me to show them what the prizes are? Because I think I have most of them that I can at least give them a demonstration of what your prizes are going to be. I have most of them, I think. All right, so Noelle's going to pick what she wants the theme. Okay, you got to make your own background. So you can use ink, you can use color bursts, you can use brushes, you can use um, sparkle inks. Going to make your own background. That's her theme. All right, so Noelle's going to give away prize package number one is going to be. Two backgrounds, I'm sorry, prize package number one is going to be um, a set of, and correct me if I'm wrong, Noelle, but a set of 24 pack of local King rubber stamps with a stamp set. I don't have the stamp set, but there is a stamp set that you're going to be able to use these markers on. So she's going to have that for prize number one. Prize number two, I believe, are these two background stamps. Is that correct, Noel? It's these two background stamps. So you're going to get the brand new Dew and the brand new Ocean Waves. Right? And then, so prize number one is this marker set and one, she has a, she has a stamp set to go with it. So that's number one. Prize number two are going to be these two background stamps. And then prize number three... Do and bark. Oh, not this one. Bark. Do I have bark? Uh-oh. I messed up already. I don't think I have bark. Okay, so you're going to get two background stamps. Do and bark. I'm sorry. Okay, and then prize number three is a set, a three set of the Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pot. I don't know what the colors are, but I just wanted to show you guys what they look like. Okay, so she's going to pick three winners from the Foiling Snobs Club that you're going to, um, yeah, she's going to post pictures. So you're going to win the markers with a stamp, you're going to win two background stamps, or you're going to win one set of the three color pots. And I don't know what colors they were, but um, th this is basically what was in the markers I just showed you guys, this sparkle ink. So they come in pots or they come in the markers. So, Noelle has volunteered to have a little contest on Foiling Snobs Club that you guys can win one of three lovely packages from Noelle. And they are very, very nice, very nice prizes. Thank you so much, Noelle, for your generosity. Because our team is awesome. So, the theme is you have to make your own backgrounds. She wants to see the cards and the backgrounds. And we've done a lot, guys. We've done, Ryan showed you guys how to do the um, Distress Oxide Sprays. I did them using the Distress uh, Micro Glaze. Noelle has done them. Now we've used the brushes and the Color Burst. Here I just used ink. So we've shown a lot of videos lately on how to make your own backgrounds. Um, Tracy did a lot with using gold texture paste. She did a lot of texture paste backgrounds. So check those out. Yes, 
Yes, Ryan's going to teach us distressed crayons. Please do, Ryan, because I had them and I did give them away. I didn't like them. <laughs> yes, let's have a lot of interest. Well, I know this is short and simple, you guys, but I figured a two-hour live was not what you guys wanted to do on a Friday night. I'm going to go enjoy watching the Umbrella Academy 2 with my kids. Um, and I look forward to Ryan's live tomorrow. I should be home in time. I kind of scheduled my day around it a little bit. So I should be just, no, maybe not. I think we go through the chocolate factory at three. I'll probably not be on there. I'll try to watch from my phone, Ryan. And like I said, if you are interested in purchasing one of my new logo stickers, this is my very first merch, you guys. Here it is. NancyStamps15 at gmail.com. I don't have very many of them. They're going to be $3, and that includes for me to mail it out to you guys. Yay. And I'm going to send a couple to Noelle so when she sends out the prize packages, she can put those in the prize packages too. All right. We'll say the contest starts tomorrow, Noelle. I'll make a folder for it. And everybody has to enter their entry in the folder. And I'll put the new card swap up tomorrow as well. Sound good? It'll be the make your own background contest. Okay, guys. Well, have a wonderful night. I had a good night last night. I was on with Chow, Tracy, Stacy, and I don't drink, you guys, and I made myself a pina colada, and it was so good. So I'm going to have to go make myself one of those. Um, Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Give them two weeks, Noel. That sounds good. The name of the group is Foiling Snobs Club, and Chow just linked it. You click on that link. Now, before you just hit submit, because everybody gets excited and does that, there are some questions you need to answer, and you want to answer all of those questions before you hit submit and agree to the rules. And the rules basically say be nice, um, supportive. If you don't have anything nice to say, keep it to yourself. Um, but we want to see your submissions. We don't just want to see all of your hauls. I mean, hauls are great. Don't get me wrong. I love hauls too. But we want to see some, we want to see what you guys are creating. So this, we're going to call this the create your own background contest. And we're going to have some prizes. And that is the benefit of being in the Foiling Snobs Club. All right. Okay. Good night, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. And I'll link everything you need if you want to make this for yourself. Bye, guys. Have a good night. Virtual hugs. Don't forget the thumbs up on your way out. Uh, Ryan, I don't have that many, so let's limit it to like two. Ryan, you got some in your box.